What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle. Now for today's video, I am coming to you guys with a first impressions on a number of products actually. I'm gonna go ahead and call this like a complexion first impressions because I'm not only going to be testing out a foundation today, but I also have a concealer and a setting powder and a face powder. So basically I'm going to be doing a first impressions on all of these base related products from Flower Beauty. Obviously these aren't products that are new to the market, however they are products that I was kind of always intrigued to try out but I never went ahead and did so, but I decided that it was time. I mean, Flower Beauty has been out for a minute now, and as we all know, it is Drew Barrymore's makeup line, and let me tell you, the price point of these is crazy. From what I can remember, I think the foundation retails for 14 Australian dollars as well as US dollars, which doesn't usually happen. Usually if something is, say, $14 in the US, it'll be like double the price over here in Australia, but the fact that it's 14 USD and 14 AUD, I was like, is that... Is that right? What's even better is that when I went to go and pick up these products, they were actually having a sale. So I'm pretty sure I got like the foundation for $9, which a $9 drugstore foundation here in Australia, that is unheard of. So yeah, I am pretty much going to go ahead and test out these products for you guys today. Just give you guys my first impressions, thoughts and opinions on them. Pretty excited to do so. So if you guys wanna see how that goes, keep on watching. And if you do enjoy this video or you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it before you leave it. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into this first impressions. So diving straight into things, let's begin with the foundation. This is it right here, the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear Foundation. Just quickly, I think what really drew me towards these products is the packaging. I mean, the packaging is pretty simple, straightforward, and very clean looking, which you guys know I'm all about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly read what the claims are for the foundation. Forgive me if I'm looking over on this side because I'm reading it off my computer. But it says that the Light Illusion is a breakthrough foundation that achieves the impossible, provides you with a medium to buildable coverage to smooth and perfect while imparting your skin with the most flattering soft luminosity imaginable. All with a weightless nude skin feel. Imperfections and uneven skin tone are diminished. Only a flawless, smooth, and incredibly natural complexion is revealed. It also says that it is lightweight and breathable, blends effortlessly, matches seamlessly, and wears endlessly, and it has an SPF of 18. From what I can see in terms of shades, I don't feel like their shade range is that extensive or broad. There are only 15 shades of foundation and not very many in terms of the darker end of the scale so that is something to think about but for me the shade that I got is classic tan m3 to be honest I have a feeling this probably most likely will be too dark for me and the reason why that is is because at the moment with COVID-19 there are no testers available on shelves which does make it a little bit more difficult when you are trying to match your foundation now if you guys live here in australia i do believe that the only place you can pick this up from is chemist warehouse and if you're in the us i'm pretty sure they stock this at walmart Ulta beauty and of course the flower beauty website so yeah let's get into trying this on so as you guys can see my skin is not perfect i do have a little bit of like redness and such going on i have quite a fair bit of texture lately because i am kind of switching up my skincare routine. So my skin is not looking the best that it could right now, which is actually perfect for a first impressions because that is really going to put this to the test to see if it does what it says it does. In terms of my skin, I do have fairly oily skin. However, here in Australia, we are currently in winter and I just feel like my skin lately has been kind of a little bit less oily, which typically does happen during the cooler weather. So as you guys can see, it does come with a pump which we all love when it comes to foundation. So there it is on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's not dripping. So I would say that it is a not a pretty thick formula because it doesn't feel like it's thick, but you know, it's not heavy, but it's not dripping, which is interesting. Also, by the way, I've already obviously cleansed, moisturized and prepped my skin and I have already applied a primer. I just use my typical primer that I use on the regular, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect 
primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just dot it onto my face. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be too dark, but what can we do? I'm just going in and start stippling that. Probably just gonna have to bring this down onto my neck to kind of help blend that color in. But first thought is that it feels really light. Like it doesn't feel like I'm blending a foundation into my skin. Like I feel like that really dispersed quickly and... Okay, that's interesting. I would definitely say that this isn't like a full coverage foundation straight off the bat. So I'm gonna have to go in with another layer and instead of spreading this around my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my brush to stipple it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down my neck too because you guys already know this isn't gonna match me. Yeah, it's definitely a lightweight foundation. Like it, I just feel like it doesn't really provide too much coverage, especially if you have a little bit of redness going on. Like if you suffer from pimples or acne, I don't think this foundation would be for you, purely for the fact that you'd have to go in with multiple layers, I feel. I'm gonna go ahead and put some onto the other side of my face. And for this side, I think I'm gonna try and go in with a beauty sponge. Just gonna dab that into the skin. Oh, I feel like this finish, like this side with the sponge is definitely very like glowy. I think one thing to note as well is that when it dries, it gets a little bit darker as well. So that's pretty much one to two layers of foundation on my face. In terms of the finish of it, I think it's really beautiful. Like it just looks like your skin has a really nice luminous glow to it, which I don't mind, even though I do have oily skin. I do like my skin to look radiant in a sense, so I'm liking how it's looking at the moment. I feel like if you apply powder over top, you could definitely manage that if you didn't like that luminous type of glow, but this is most definitely a luminous foundation. I mean, it's called Light Illusion, so yeah, I would expect that it is. But in terms of coverage, as you guys can see, I still have a little bit of pigmentation showing through in the areas where I do suffer from that at the moment, like my cheeks right here and on my chin. So I'm just gonna go in with a teeny bit more in these areas where I feel like I kinda need to like, you know, spot conceal a little bit. When you feel like you need extra coverage in certain areas, it's okay to spot conceal. It's definitely one of those foundations that if you have perfect skin and you really wanna have that like glow from within type of look, I feel like this would be perfect. But something that I'm noticing on the back of my hand as well, is that it has really like noticeable shimmer throughout it. It's not glitter, but it's definitely like a shimmer, which I guess is where they get the whole illuminating term from because it literally has like a shimmer in the formula itself, which you can't tell from the bottom. So do you guys see like the finish of my skin right now? It looks super glowy, especially under these studio lights right now. It just looks really really intensely glowy which i know some people do not like at all but don't worry we're going to be going in with a powder to kind of set that or if you did prefer it looking like this then you could leave it as is i feel like this might be a foundation that would be more suitable and geared towards those with a normal to dry skin type because it is going to give your skin that like luminous type of glow which i don't know if this is a good thing but i kind of get that naturally from having oily skin so I feel like this is how my skin would look on a day when I've applied my foundation and it's kind of settled into my skin and my oils are coming through so if this is how it looks now I'm curious to know how it's going to look later on once I've worn it for a period of time but now that I've got the foundation on we are going to move on to the concealer right here so this is the light illusion full coverage concealer which has a weightless feel and is crease proof so let me just take this out of the packaging. So this is it right here. Again, packaging is very nice and sleek, simple and straightforward. But on the back of the box, it says, introducing Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, a soft focus blurring concealer with high performance coverage. The weightless formula instantly diminishes the appearance of imperfections, fine lines and signs of fatigue for a flawless, luminous look. 
Our creamy texture blends seamlessly like a second skin with a lightweight feel. The eye area is visibly brightened with a soft touch of light. So that sounds really good to me, the fact that they're saying it has a soft focus blurring effect and it is going to help to illuminate the darkness under your eyes. I like that because I don't get much sleep as it is and I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, yeah, today is definitely one of those days where I'm feeling my lack of sleep. So the concealer retails for $10 on the Flower Beauty website and there are six shades. Now the shade that I picked up is L3-4 to in light. And if we just open her up, she does come with a pretty large doe foot applicator. Going in with the concealer now, let's just go ahead and apply this underneath the eyes without any particular technique or rhyme or reason. Typically wouldn't apply this much, but because I'm trying to lighten up the effect of the foundation on my skin, I will go in with a little bit extra today. In terms of the applicator, I really like it. It is quite a large, slim doe foot applicator, but it applies the product really nicely and it feels really good to apply to the skin. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and use the other end of my beauty sponge to go and blend this into the skin to start off with. I feel like with the foundation, the best way to apply it was definitely with the sponge. It just gave a really nice finish. Yeah, the finish looks really, really nice. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try using a like buffing concealer brush to blend in this side and we'll just see how that goes in terms of coverage. I do like using a sponge to blend my concealer in, but I feel like when it comes to getting these inner corner parts of the eyes, which that's where I do have darkness as well. I like to use a brush because there's definitely more control, especially because I do have lash extensions and those do get in the way sometimes. In terms of color, I do like that shade for me, which is light because I like to use my concealer to not just conceal, but also brighten. So I did like that shade and I feel like kind of balanced out my face. But yeah, there we have it. That is the concealer on. First impressions, it definitely does not feel heavy on my skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing any concealer at the moment. It literally feels like I just went ahead and applied like some type of eye cream. Like, and it doesn't even feel like that. It's very, very lightweight. So their claims are saying that it is lightweight definitely are true. I'm liking how that's looking. I like the finish of it on my skin. It blended in really easily. And yeah, I actually really like the concealer. So this one, pretty good so far. I'm going to go straight ahead into the setting powder. This is the Miracle White Universal Finishing Powder. So let me just quickly read what the claims are for this. This one retails for $11 and it says, it's a miracle worker. Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder sets your makeup while smoothing the appearance of fine lines and pores for a flawless matte finish. The ultra fine silky formula creates a soft focus effect for a seamless result. The universal powder works perfectly to flatter every skin tone, featuring a mirror and sponge to stay beautifully matte on the go. And yes, there is a mirror and a sponge within this compact as well, which would be great if you guys want to do like touch ups. But for this, I'm just going to go ahead and take this tapered setting brush dip that into the product and we're going to go ahead and just press and set that into place because naturally I do have fine lines underneath my eyes but in terms of what they say for what the powder does I like everything that they're saying it does so I've set it into place but I definitely feel like the concealer worked quick man like it worked really quick to settle into my fine lines like my eyes are set for the most part I think it looks really nice though like that powder did a really good job of brightening up those areas as you guys can see it's like BAM so moving on to the final step which is the light illusion perfecting powder this one is in the shade beige L42 M1 so let me just quickly read what they say about the powder the powder does retail for $14 and I'm assuming that you can use this like on its own you don't necessarily have to use this to set the foundation in place because looking at the color, I feel like it's definitely going to give you a little bit of coverage. So it says that it is the perfect, oh, okay, never mind. It says it's the perfect partner to the Light Illusion Foundation. It brings our soft focus innovation to a pressed powder form. Our next generation blurring pigments impart a luminous ambient glow with medium buildable coverage 
for ultimate perfecting. The formula gives you the smoothest application complete with a mirror and sponge for quick touch-ups on the go. And yes, again, it does have a mirror and sponge inside. Don't know if I would ever use this type of sponge. I mean, for the translucent powder, I feel like, yeah, it would be great to kind of like blot. But again, I'm just going to go in with a powder brush. I actually think that I don't really need to set the foundation, to be honest. I feel like it's dried down really nicely on its own. But just for the purpose of this, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've always found it kind of difficult to give a proper opinion when it comes to face powders because when you've applied a foundation, it's really hard to see like what you're looking for. I can't really say anything too much about it just yet because... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's really done too much to add to the face at this point. Like, I don't feel like this is really that necessary to pick up if you're picking this up. So that's my two cents on the powder. But now that my face is done, this is how everything is looking. Ignore the fact that my foundation is most definitely darker. I mean, it ain't too bad. Have a look. What do you guys think? It ain't too bad. But yeah, this is how the foundation looks on my skin. It's definitely not full coverage. As they did say, it's like a medium to buildable coverage foundation. But I personally, with my like standards, because I do, if I want to go full coverage, I'm going to go full coverage. And I don't feel like this gives full coverage. I mean, if you have perfect skin to begin with, then maybe yes. But I can definitely still see a little bit of my imperfections showing through, which I personally don't mind. I don't necessarily need my base to look completely flawless because I do go in with other products such as bronzer, blush, highlight, all of that. So I am pretty happy with how this is looking. I especially like how like this area of my face looks right here with the concealer and the powder. I definitely feel like the whole soft focus concept of the powder being a blurring effect really does come into play. It looks really nice. For right now though, what I'm going to go and do is go ahead and finish off the rest of my face makeup for the day. And I will check back in with you guys, show you how it looks and let you know how all my other products applied on top of this base. So I will be right back. All right guys, as you can see, I am back from finishing off the rest of my makeup. And can I just say... I really, 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 really like how it looks. I feel like now that my face is complete in terms of bronzer, blush, highlight, all that good stuff, I like it more than I did when I first applied it, which I was not expecting at all. I mean, just look at my face right now. I honestly feel like, like as I'm looking at it in the monitor over here, I feel like it's glowing. Like it looks really, really pretty. In saying that though, I definitely feel like the saving grace was most definitely the concealer and powder combo. I feel like those just switch everything up instantly for me. I don't know if I was just thrown off by the incorrect foundation shade. Maybe if I went like a shade or two lighter, then maybe I would have initially liked it better. But I'll admit things are a little bit touch and go there for a second. Like I wasn't really sure how I was going to like it. But yeah, I really like how everything looks on the skin. I am in love with this finish. It's like giving me a really nice glow to the face. And you can still see like a little bit of my imperfections going on, but that's just me. I'm sure if anybody saw this type of base, they would not really nitpick it the way that I am. But yeah, I really, really like how it looks. I did, honestly, I did not expect this. I just feel like it's giving me a really nice soft glow, which is definitely the type of look that I'm into lately. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and continue on with my day. I am going to check back in with you guys at the end of the day so we can kind of have a look at everything together and see how it all held up throughout the day. So I will be back at the end of the day and we will see how it all went. All right, you guys, I'm back with an update several hours later. It's currently just after 7 p.m. and I did put the foundation on at around 11. So I have been wearing it for a good amount of time now. So let's take a look in the mirror up close and see. I'm actually really impressed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did not touch this up at all. Today, I pretty much spent the day indoors. I was doing a bit of editing, nothing too crazy or hectic. However, I did duck out for a little bit to do some grocery shopping. 
And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far. Still a little bit iffy on the color, but again, that's something that was definitely my own fault. But I feel like my skin, as I'm looking at it in the monitor, looks really luminescent and glowy, but it doesn't look super oily, which as I mentioned in the beginning, I do have an oily skin type. So I'm pretty happy with how it's held up throughout the day. I don't see anything like breaking up at all around like smile lines and whatnot. The concealer, however, underneath my eyes has settled into my like fine lines that I have going on here, but it's not the worst. Like I've seen worse from concealers. One thing that I probably would note though is that yeah, I do have a little bit of extra like oil in this area, but in saying that, that always happens for me. But yeah, overall, I really like the finish and how it held up throughout the day. I just, ugh, I feel like it doesn't look too bad and it might not look as noticeable to you guys, but I just wish that I would have like picked up the correct shade because it's kind of bugging me. But for the most part, I think I did all right. So what I'm gonna do now, just to test it out for the sake of it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the translucent setting powder. Just on my brush, I'm gonna take a bit of that and see how it goes. If I were just to tap this over the areas where I feel like I could touch up a little bit. Oh, okay, yeah, that's like an instant fix. Do you guys see how that instantly, like, <gasps> that really fixed everything straight away? Yeah. Sometimes I find when I do this with other foundations, because I'm applying pressure with a brush, it'll tend to shift the foundation, but this can actually take it. Like, that looks really good. Okay, I feel like I could definitely wear this for a longer period of time. Like if I was to go out or something this evening, I could probably just do this, touch it up a little bit, and I'd be good to go. So yeah, I feel like that little touch up of powder definitely helped it out a lot. Like it's completely back to looking fresh again, which isn't usually a thing when it comes to touching up foundations at the end of a long day. So yeah, I'd have to say that I am very impressed with this whole base combo that I have going on today. If anything though, one thing I'd have to say about the foundation is pick your shades wisely and do keep in mind that as you apply it and it dries down, it might dry a shade darker. So I would recommend perhaps going a shade up from what you think you are. So I think I'm gonna have to go back and check it out and see if I can find the correct shade for me because I really like how that looks on my skin. I feel like it looks really nice and like alive, if that makes sense. Typically, I like to go for a more matte finish foundation, but in this case, I feel like it looks really nice on my skin. Aside from the concealer creasing in my fine lines, I definitely feel like it did a really good job of giving me that full coverage look all day long. As you guys can see, like nothing's really moved. Everything is still in place and I don't think anything has faded at all. Like I still look like I have good coverage from my concealer in the areas that I did apply it. Even like down here where I have a little bit of um, pigmentation and like texture for where I had a couple of little pimples pop up. The foundation has done a pretty good job of covering that area and typically I find when I have texture on my skin, foundation tends to emphasize that and gather around it, especially at the end of a long day. However, I don't really feel like it's done that at all. So I have to say these products from Flower Beauty are definitely ones to try specifically for the fact that they are super inexpensive. As I mentioned, the foundation retails for $14, which already a foundation for $14 here in Australia, that is very unheard of. And yeah, as an overall first impression, I'd have to say that I am really impressed and I really do like these products and I definitely will be using them again. So it's saying that if you guys have tried any of these products yourself, I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think of them. Or if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it before you leave it. And if you're still here at the end of watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any more videos that I post. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a list of everything that I spoke about in the video today as well as relative links. If you guys want to go and check those out for yourselves, you can find that all in the description box alongside all of my social media links if you guys wanna follow me on any of those. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having an awesome week. I hope you're staying safe, taking care of yourselves and looking out for each other. I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,